The Midlands should get more power and become an engine for the UK economy. Well, that's according to the Chancellor of the Exchequer, George Osborne. He embarked on a tour of the region today and as well as boasting about government investment in local roads and railways, he challenged Midlands politicians to come to him with plans for devolution. Our correspondent, Gareth Owen, went with him. Now the election's over, we thought we'd see the last of politicians in high-vis jackets. We thought wrong. Today, George Osborne toured Midlands businesses, telling us how the region should be an engine for the country's economy. For too long, the Midlands was overlooked by successive governments in London, and I'm here to tell you, not any more. We're going to attract the jobs, make the investments, bring the prosperity here. And the way he wants to do this is by developing more enterprise zones, like this one just off the Aston Expressway. They're building a new high-tech office block here, and the plan is to roll out more zones in places like Walsall, Wolverhampton and Dudley. Not only that, this enterprise zone in Birmingham will be expanded to include the whole area around the proposed HS2 depot on Curzon Street. But it doesn't stop there. The Chancellor also wants Midlands politicians to have more power, more control over taxpayers' money. So, as part of his tour, today he met with council leaders, Midlands MPs, even Lord Heseltine. But has the Midlands been something of an afterthought? This morning you spoke about the uh, Midlands having been, to a degree, left behind by successive yeah. governments. It's still kind of happening though, isn't it? Because the devolution offer to, to Manchester is so far advanced. Is there a danger that we're not going to ever really be able to catch up with the North West? Well, the Midlands has been neglected by previous governments and I'm here just within weeks of the last election to say it's not going to be neglected under this government. We want the Midlands to be an engine of growth. I'd like to see a real devolution of decisions to the Midlands and how far we go on that it's not for me to decide, it's for local people to decide, but I want to go to the max. I'd love there to be the kind of arrangements you see in London or indeed in Manchester. And that means combined authorities and a directly elected mayor. So as far as the government's concerned, the ball is in our court. Gareth Owen, ITV News, Birmingham. So big ambitions, but how keen are councils in the Midlands to seize the opportunities and when will we start seeing any changes? Well, let's speak now to our political correspondent, Alison McKenzie. And Alison, what do MPs make of it in Westminster? Well, there is broadly support for the idea, but lots of sticking points, not least the first requirement in the bill as published for that di directly elected mayor. But it was only a couple of years ago that the people of Birmingham and in Coventry rejected the idea of having an elected mayor. So that's one issue that needs sorting. Other MPs I've spoken to question uh, whether the combined authority, however big it is and however much money it gets, will actually be there to impose lots of cuts still to come the way of the Midlands because the deficit has still to be paid off. So lots of questions, no doubting George Osborne's wish, but we are playing catch up. They've had uh, the Northern Powerhouse, the combined authorities north of us for some time. So do we want it? We'll find out. And for now, thank you very much. Well, the national and international news is just a few moments away. So